Greetings, beautiful souls. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sianja, and I am here again with another motivational soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. As you have seen on the title, we want to be talking about the 10 signs that your childhood trauma is still unhealed, very fresh wound that needs to be aided. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just go straight to two days a video. If you are the type of a person who prefers to be alone than to be with other people, you identify as a loner. You love to be alone. You don't want to interact with other people. There are chances that in the past, no one was able to understand you as a person. You were misunderstood. You didn't have anyone to connect with so as a traumatic response you prefer let me just be by myself because i've been by myself anyway but remember it was not by choice it was because you find yourself in a situation in an environment where there was no one to care for you to show you that affection to actually really understand you so now you have adopted this and it have became part of the personality traits that you identify yourself with but chances are if you are a loner you are much likely that in the past no one was there for you so you assumed it and made it to be who you are if you are the type of a person who do not have any memories of yourself as a young person you start remembering your life probably around teenagehood you don't remember anything under that age there might have been traumatic experiences that have happened and the brain is created in a way it is supposed to protect you at all times your brain is meant to make sure that it feeds you and gives you things that you will be able to digest mentally so that you don't get heartbreak. So your, your brain will purposefully erase some of the memories away from your mind, especially those that were traumatic and those that were much painful as a form of trying to protect you from heartbreak or from hurt. You might have childhood trauma that you went through that you need healing from, that is the reason why you don't have any memory of yourself as a young person. And then there's also this particular thing that is done by particular people where you find that you are being complimented and a person who's complimenting you is really just being genuine and complimenting you on something that is truthful after observing you or after seeing you the way you, 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 you do your thing or the way you embrace it or show whatever that they are complimenting from you. They are people who are unable to take compliments. If you are one of those people where every time when you are being complimented, you act humble, you don't want to accept the compliment, you take it back, it's much likely that you were never around people who were kind. So when you are not used to kindness, when kindness comes to you, it is foreign. You don't know how to, re to react on kindness. You don't know how to respond when people are being kind to you. It's because of the traumatic experience that you might have went through of not having any person in your cycle who was kind to care for your well-being, for your mental state, or your mental health, and just for your, for your well-being in general. So now you tend to be somebody who is overly humble. Being overly humble also is not a good thing in this day and age where we live in the world where it's either you eat or you get eaten. There comes a point in time where you have to outgrow that behavior of being humble and really just ride on your strengths and really be proud of your little wins, no matter how big or small they are. And if you are the type of a person who always feel the need to apologize, you always feel the need to say sorry, to explain yourself to people, even sometimes before they even ask you to explain yourself, you always want to explain yourself there is a probability that you were a person who was accused a lot in the previous life or where you come from or in your childhood. You were much likely to be accused of things that you did not do. And you were always trying to fight your honor, to fight for your name, to fight for your innocence. And that is the reason why now you have turned into this person who constantly feel the need to apologize. Even when you are not wrong, sometimes you always feel the need to say you are sorry. Uh, you might be a type of a person who, really, who don't like to interact with people, especially when they are not in your instant space. Like, for an example, you don't you take long to respond to text, you ignore phone calls, and you have identified yourself as a person who's like, oh, me, I don't pick calls, I don't respond to text. I was one of those people a couple of years ago, and I took pride in that. Little did I know that it is also a traumatic response 
it's not really the person that I want to be or the person that I am. You are not allowing yourself to step out there because chances are something might have hurt you. It goes the same way with this particular behavior of hating calls and interacting with people because you feel this this uncertainty you're not sure how they feel if what they're saying is true you want validation and you need them to be closer to you so that you can validate if they are being sarcastic or they are being real so you over analyze text and calls you read the tone of the voice and you make it to be about yourself it's not always going to be about yourself sometimes the person is just having a horrible day sometimes somebody is just mean naturally sometimes this is how they speak they sound like they are rude so you are much likely to take other people's behaviors and make it about you and that is a problem you need to now be able to see which this is the behavior that i usually embody and it comes or it stems from a traumatic experience that you might have went through before that causes you to find it difficult to socialize some people were bullied so when you were bullied and you grow up without healing that pain or the trauma every time when you come across certain individuals who look similar to the people who might have bullied you you will quickly pull back to your shell and then want to go back to your safe space and not socialize and not communicate with people and stay at your home for for days and weeks sometimes without coming out and talking to nobody it's a traumatic response we are supposed to be able to interact with people and most people become okay with this they be, they allow it to become part of who they are part of their character and they live by it without really realizing that it's not really because of being the best version of yourself you are like this because someone robbed you of that particular ability to experience people with that fear so now that you're operating from the memory of how this person might have behaved under this particular setting you choose to avoid the whole setting as a whole robbing yourself amazing experiences of life that you might need in your life journey when you are somebody who doesn't like to socialize doesn't take calls and text think about it rethink about it try to see where it stems from so healing is very important so that you can come out of this whole energy field because it becomes an energy field energy field that you vibrate on another sign that will tell you that you are not healed or you are still operating from trauma is a resentment i don't want us to always negatively paint a negative emotions because every every emotion is necessary you need to be able to allow yourself to go through the particular emotion after experiencing a certain situation and also analyzing while you are in your emotion the reason why you are in that emotion so that you won't be in that emotion for too long that it becomes your trauma response that becomes embedded in your character in your personality so when you have resentment it means you still have a memory of something that someone might have done or said or didn't do and they were supposed to do in your mind and you going around with this memory in a negative manner and this resentment is triggered every time when you have to interact with this person when you have to see this person or when you have to come across something that resembles this person or reminds you of this person so when you have resentment it means you haven't allowed yourself to heal from what a person have done to you you are holding them hostage in your mind and in your heart but you have to pay the price not them so that's a traumatic uh, that's a traumatic response to have resentment towards someone when you resent someone you do not want to see them even in your space sometimes they didn't do what you would say they did on purpose but you haven't found it in your mind to accept that it happened some of the things when they have happened there is no way of undoing them so when you hold that grudge or when you have that resentment or have a heart towards a certain person it eats you more than it eats them because it's your heart that has to go through those low vibrational energies that you are putting it into and they will also accumulate and become an entity of its entity of its own that can also accumulate a space within you and you'll find yourself constantly repeating the same cycles of the past just because you have resentment but accepting that people are the way they are people did what they did whether they did it knowingly or unknowingly you have to come to a point where you know what you 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 forgive the past not necessarily the person because some people are just not built like that to forgive in that level but forgive the past forgive that it happened accept the challenge 
that it put you under and accept the lessons that it gave you because now you know better because you went through it first experience first hand experience so make sure that you don't stay in resentment for way too long until it, it, it comes to a point where it manifests itself into an entity that gets to drive you as a person because now it will change your whole character and will change everything about you and no one is having a life purpose that includes resentment in it resentment is going to delay you from your life purpose and your life path if you are a person who still operates from anger each and every person has a right to be angry when they are being provoked when they are being belittled when they are being used when they are being harmed you need to be angry it's 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 like a life emotion it's it's necessary but there comes a point again similar to resentment where you have to now analyze your anger break it down and allow it to work for you or work in your favor in this case use the information that you now know about a particular individual particular organization or whatever that angered you and allow it to make a lesson out of it so that you will do better next time so that you will teach better next time so that you can create something out of this whole anger that will be a solution so that it doesn't happen again but whatever the case may be you are presented situations and problems that cause you anger so that you so that you can benefit from the other side of those similar situations similar emotions similar happenings so it's all about being creative and really just taking life and having a different perspective of life every time when you going through something negative see how can you gain positively out of this whole situation that's the creativity of life that will always leave you feeling like you're winning even in situations that you feel are unfortunate for you another one that is like um that is so obvious if you are a late night snacker or a late night eater you are much likely to be somebody who is an emotional eater who is eating her emotions or his emotions away as a way of comforting yourself so when you have been in isolation for some time and you identify yourself like the point that we had on the first one where we say when you identify yourself as a loner when you identify yourself as this particular characters based on the traumatic experiences that you might have went through you are much likely to find something that is going to give you comfort so that you forget a little bit about what is it that you're lacking or what is it that you went through or what is it that you wish you have but you don't have at this current moment so you find yourself comforting comforting your emotions and your feelings by using food and this is something that we see a lot in our societies where you find people will not speak about their pain they will not go through the pain and feel the pain but they will just eat the pain away and you see people who are like good hearted people people who should be doing better things in their lives they are just you know being average or they are just you know belittling themselves because they still stuck in a place where they were told that you will never be nothing or you will stay where you are forever so as a way of finding comfort they find food as comfort some people they will find things that will get them into addiction and you know that once you are addicted that means that even your root chakra itself is is not balanced it is not the way it's supposed to be because umsuga wako na mumda wako as a person start from your root chakra that's where everything begins but when things of the past are not arranged and in order you are much likely to experience things that will cause you to go through addictions once you struggle from an addiction even if it's food even if it's particular types of things that you use to either numb your pain or numb your mind or whatever the case may be but you know what you are getting into being an addict in whatever that you're doing just know that you need to deal with your root chakra dealing with your root chakra it needs you to associate yourself a lot with the color red meaning that you're going to have to eat a lot of natural food that is red you have to now also imagine yourself wearing red you have to do meditation you have to do grounding and everything and really just reconnect again so that you will have that foundation because without the foundation you will not be able to reach on your crown chakra a crown chakra that will allow you to find problem solving be creative and really create things out of nothing for the benefit of everybody including yourself so it's 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 all about you taking a decision that you know what i've always identified myself as these things but there comes a point in time where you have to say you know what i'm free and i am open to be anything that i am possible that it, that i am possible of becoming as long as it is better for me and the ultimate goal or the ultimate life path purpose that i have 
at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Are you walking in a path that you are meant to walk on? Are you fulfilling the outcomes that you were assigned to fulfill? Are you making yourself happy in the process? Are you living something that's going to make them navigate through life better than you might have so that it is easier, easier for them than it was for you? At the end of the day, I strongly do believe that no matter what life purpose you have, what matters the most out of everything is what are the things are you leaving behind? Because we work so hard for everything that we work hard for. We don't take none of these things that we work hard for when we leave this planet Earth, when we descend to other dimensions. Other people, they call it death when we die. You really don't take it. Even your millions in the bank, you don't take them. You leave them behind for those who are left behind. So the question is, are you fulfilling the purpose of making sure that you are a good example of those who are coming after you? Are you making life easier for them so that they will proceed where you left off and also make it easier for those who come after us? So at the end of the day, no matter what your goal is, no matter what you believe your life purpose is, but life is bigger than you and whatever assignment you are assigned here on earth for, they are not just about yourself. They are all about what you leave behind. I hope that this video did find you in good spirit. Until we meet again, love and light.